What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, it's about that time. We are into the 99 overall regular champion stage uh, for the AKA. So we're gonna jump right into it to kind of go over the background. If you guys picked up on what happened, right? The Ultimate Legend Challenges, everything updated in the set. So like I told you guys before, with the way that this is working, right? Prior to this week, before they did 99s, the set did not read correctly. But EA Sports, I gotta give them credit for this. If you guys, if this happened to you guys, let me know. If you had Ultimate Tokens, Ultimate Legend Tokens in the set, prior to them releasing the 99, they shot back all of the Ultimate Legend Tokens that were already in the set, and then they cleared out the actual set for the 99s, whatever, the 96 and 99s, and then they allowed you to be able to get a 99. So it's gonna be very similar with what I'm gonna show you guys right now. The number one way is going to be the tokens, all right? As of right now, many of you guys, like myself, already have the tokens ready to go. So it's gonna be 399s. It's gonna be Tyreek Hill, it's gonna be Jalen Waddle, and it's gonna be Lamar Jackson, right? Lamar Jackson is the limited. And to be honest, I don't know if we're gonna go after him because his baked in ability is, I believe, evasive. And that doesn't really make much sense because he's going to fumble the ball without Truz. So I don't know how they're going to work it uh, with the 99s, but I'm going to still go ahead and break it down for you. All right. So what's going to happen is this. If you have everything completed to this segment right here, like if you could look at this and it says 384 out of 384, type one in the chat because you guys are going to already be set to get the Tyreek Hill or the Jalen Waddle, which will be valuable because they're both stock 99 speed with crazy acceleration. So if you're just starting out and you're watching this video, shout out to YouTube for recommending it because you're gonna already have a free 99 overall player. You can just throw RPOs to all game and just do whatever you want. Now, just remember this, right? Unless EA Sports announces, cause I don't know if this is the last one. I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't believe it said it was the last one. I'm gonna pull it up over here on the other side right here on my screen and check, but I don't believe they said this was the last drop. So if they haven't said that yet, I don't know exactly what their plan is. All right, it just says the Madden 24 presents the Blur Brothers, and that's it, because they're dropping Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Other than that, it doesn't appear, right, that this is the last drop, which means you might be in the boat of still being able to get a better 99 later. Now, you guys might argue, who are the better players to wait for? Should you just go ahead and use the tokens that you have right now and get what's available? Um, the honest answer is this, right? You just never know what EA is going to do. They could end up dropping something really crazy. And if these players don't fit your scheme, it won't really make any sense to do it just to say you got the player. Now, I don't really use short receivers, so this won't work for me at all. This honestly will not work, so I have to be very, very careful. So when you're taking a look at the set right now, you see like how it stopped at 98s? When we go over to the set right here, you see how this says 30 of 30, right? Because I have everybody in there for a champion. They may update this set and throw back out the tokens that are already in it to make it so that the 99s are in it. But because they don't have the writing the way that the Ultimate Legends did, it may just stay in there. Either way, what I want you guys to do is to make sure that you have space for the amount of tokens that are in it in your binder. Like for me, I'm gonna be good, I think, right? Yeah, I'm a 6051. So even if they throw everything back out, I won't be over 1700 items. Cause what will happen is sometimes it glitches the game. If you have over that amount, it always takes you back to your binder. But if you back out of the game and you close it and you have over 1700 items for whatever reason, it can really cause issues with your game. So just make sure that you prepare for that. It's happened to me. I'm pretty sure it'll happen to somebody else. I just wanna go ahead and make sure I point that out. Uh, that glitch is weird where it just gets grayed out. So we'll just back out and we'll go back into the set uh, for the AKAs again. So that's the main way, right? Now we're gonna go about the other way because when I show you guys these blueprints, a lot of you guys are starting to see like, look, it's a lot of coins to be made in the game. You just have to understand exactly what you're looking for, all right? So the number one thing is this, okay? If you don't have as many tokens, you can always go for the hero that's gonna be a 96 tomorrow because you see how these were 95s? They're gonna go up one. Everything is gonna go up one inside of this, right? So it's gonna be 96 overall Tyreek Hill or Waddle, right? And then it's gonna be any 96. So if you wanted to use, for whatever reason, your tokens on an auctionable player that you can sell right away, it would make sense to get one of the Tyreek Hills or the Jalen Waddles to complete their set. Remember, Lamar Jackson is a limited, so his price can vary based on the fact of abilities and what's already out and the fact that golden tickets are very close. We may not even want Lamar Jackson. 
Because they could have just given him something else built in like Truss. Like, if EA was smart about this, they would have given him a built-in Truss. I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video right now, if they gave him Truss as, uh, you know, as an ability, you would have been all over it. You wouldn't even be asking me no questions. You'd be like, yo, gee, we on it. Because it's a huge part with the quarterbacks fumbling in the game, right? So... Because everything is going up and you know what it is, I'm going to give you the different variations. So this is going to be 96s, all right? Would I recommend doing 96 overall sets this way right now? No, I would not recommend you guys completing any of these 96 sets. Why am I saying that? Because tomorrow it's going to update and give you the option like this. With these 95s, they're going to just increase it by one. So it's going to be, you know, 892s or probably less 92s, but whatever. This is the cheaper way to go about doing it. Because if you go ahead and complete the other cards, it's going to be a lot more expensive. And just so you guys know, you can just see from the previous ones how it continues to go up. Also keep in mind, this promo is one of like, it's one of the dull promos because it's not like one of the Super Bowl ones that gives you any card. It's player specific. So it has to be an AKA player. All right. So with that being said, you see how the 95s are set up? Tomorrow you'll get the 92s. So... Now you would have to go and check out, yo, how do I get 92s? So the 92s are not going to be changed. If you want to start to complete 92s, you would need 88 overalls. Now, if you wanted to go piece by piece with this and make the 88s, it's going to be forever. So one of the things that I suggest is with the limited time coin making method that's going on right now, um, you know, with the way that the NFL is going on, like the, um, the Ultimate Legends that were just released, it's a very, very good coin method that's going on that got me about 2 million in two days. All right, if you have 87s that you're gonna waste, I wouldn't waste it on this because making the crew player for this amount of overall, I know you're probably like, yo, it doesn't matter. You know, these overalls are low. These cards are very valuable in other sets that you can use to get, you know, higher overall cards, 96s, 97s, by turning these into 90s and 91s and 92s. So I don't recommend doing it this way. Okay, this, this is kind of like bad, even though I have the cards, I would probably avoid that method, but I'm still showing it to you so you can know how to do it. My thing would be to make the coins that are needed for the set and then come back and do the set because it's relative to this particular set. So in my case, I would more focus in on the fact that these Ultimate Legends, this is a gold mine. These sets are a gold mine, bro. Because when you see the fact that this is any 96 these are three any 96s right for calvin right now calvin is going for like 290 whatever Let, let's just check his price right now making these right now well he's on a 239 so you gotta probably this probably would be a really really good coin method right now because you can get those two for under 500 and then you can make the 96s with cards that you already have by using the combine set this can be a really really wild coin maker right here because they dropped it a lot but first let's check what his price actually is first before we get excited did it drop down to 800k? Because I already sold them for a million coins twice. Um, hold on. What did he go down to so far? I guess because Tyreek Hill and everybody's coming out. Yeah, so he's dropped. So you got to be very, very careful with this. If you can make 96s using the combine method that I showed you, where you were making coins with, you still can make 300k per completion of this set because you're going to spend about 500 for the 296s and Calvin. But the when you make the combine players using the combine set, it all works itself out. Again, I'm not telling you to buy the cards that go into the combine set. I'm telling you to make the players with the cards you already have. That's the instruction. Do not get confused. I mean, you're going to make 93s. That's what it means by using draft cards, re-rolling with training, whatever it is, um, using the other methods with the division dynasty. This is the key because it's any player. So I can go into the other set and make all of these cards and use it as a coin method and then go and get the cards that I want out of the AKA if I do not have 30 tokens, which I have. So I have the option of going either way and making my card, all right? So those are two different ways to do it. I would not focus too much in the AKA set. I would utilize other sets to make coins and then snipe the parts that go into it so that you're not losing coins or you're getting it at a discounted rate and then you can complete the set, get the player like Tyreek Hill, sell him, repeat, or you know put it towards getting the Lamar Jackson. Let me know if you have enough tokens to complete the set. Otherwise, are you gonna use this set? Are you gonna use the core set and make the cards and go that way and start making some Calvins, make it 300K per, you know, per selling? Or are you gonna wait it out, right? Until next week to see what new 99s come and use it for your champion then. 
let me know. Other than that, you guys have a blessed day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy. One love, y'all.